So now in this video, we're going to look at the 555 timer in A-stable mode. It's also often called a multi-vibrator. And A-stable means it's not stable. So since we have LEDs at the output, they're just going to flash alternatively over and over as long as power is applied. So we'll get back to that. But in any case, right when we apply the power, the output seems to be uh, briefly low, at least the way I have it set up. But that's not part of the timing process. I think that's just the chip uh, getting uh, on. And uh, in any case, then the output will go high. Well, it does. The capacitor is charging. We're going to use a 1 kilo ohm resistor and then a diode to skip over that resistor right there. That will charge the capacitor. And uh, pin number 6 is waiting until the capacitor gets to 2 thirds of the supply voltage. And then the output goes low this capacitor connects to ground. So low is also ground. And uh, so then any current going through that resistor goes right to ground. Basically it's as if it doesn't exist other than you are losing current. But in any case, then the capacitor starts discharging. And uh, so it's gonna discharge. We're gonna use a one kilo ohm resistor. The uh, values, you can use different values to either speed up the timing with lower values or increase the timing with higher values. But in any case, it's going to uh, discharge through that resistor. Well, the output is low until pin number two sees that it is one third of the supply voltage. We're gonna use five volts here. And then that sets the output high. This is like a switch, it turns the switch off, it doesn't connect to ground anymore. And the capacitor can continue to uh, charge. So now, while the capacitor is charging, the output is high. It's gonna fall about a volt and a half short of five volts for most uh, 555 timers. But in case we got a somewhat direct connection from the power supply down to the uh, negative side of the power supply ground, our zero volt reference point, the red LED will light up. And then again, trigger two sets the output low and discharges the capacitor. That is basically a direct connection to ground. It makes a really good connection to ground and then the uh, blue LED will light up. So I like blue, it looks a little more negative to me, and uh, red looks a little more positive to me, so I like to use them as a color indication to whether the output is high or low. And so now we come to the board here, and I'm gonna speed things up because we've done a number of these 555 timer videos now, but we have to power it. So positive supply to pin eight, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, negative side of the supply to pin one, the top pin up there. Pin two, the uh, trigger pin, that's connected to the uh, threshold pin. They're monitoring the voltage of the capacitor right there. I have more uh, components to add right now, but uh, these are the easiest to see. So I have the LEDs out of the way. Uh, pin four, that's the reset pin. We are waiting for a low signal uh, close to the uh, negative rail there. So we're just going to the positive. That makes it so it doesn't do anything. We don't want it to reset in this circuit. Now we are going to uh, finish the timing. This is a one kilo ohm resistor right there. I'm gonna add another one kilo ohm resistor. So that's going to the discharge pin. And then now we have this other resistor in series with it, a one kilo ohm resistor going to the capacitor. Now. It will take twice as long to charge as to uh, discharge with the setup that we have here. So we're just gonna add a diode right there. And so now the current going through that resistor slips around this resistor through the diode. But the diode does not let current go back that way. So it has to go through that resistor to discharge through the discharge pin, pin number seven up there, second pin down. And uh, that's it for the timing. That's a 1000 microfarad capacitor, by the way. These values make it nice. The LEDs are gonna flash back and forth somewhere around a second. Blue LED is brighter than the red LED, so I'm gonna use a one kilo ohm, 1000 ohm resistor right there. That's going to pin three, the output pin. And uh, there we have that. And again, these uh, resistors and LEDs are in series. Uh, short lead the cathode headed to the uh, output, long lead the anode up there headed to the positive supply. Uh, so they're in series, doesn't matter the order, whichever one works better for demonstration circuits like this. And uh, so 220 ohm resistor, a fourth of the value of resistance because the blue LED gets brighter. But in any case, it's going to the output line lead of the anode of the LED, short lead the cathode, 
is going to ground right there and we have our circuit so let's pull back and power supply set to 5 volts the outputs off though I have to hit the power button for it to turn on but in case there we go we got power and you saw a brief flash of the blue LED but I think that was just the uh, 555 timer kicking into action once the timing actually got started the red LED uh, lit up the output was high and so we can look at that with the oscilloscope over here and so I have the other end of the cable is alligator clips I just clip them to the jumpers that I can easily move around and so first let's look at the output and see that the output is high when the uh, red LED is lit up so you can see it moves up when the red LED is lit up and down when the blue LED is lit up and so we have just shy of the supply voltage as you can see there it looks like somewhere around three and a half if I move the red jumper to the positive supply now you can see that it is five volts right there so let's go back and most importantly is for this video at least is the capacitor and uh, sorry about that that's my printer but uh, this filming is going good so I'm just gonna leave it in the background there the uh, capacitor is charging while the red LED is lit while we have a high output and it's discharging when the blue LED is lit when the output is low as you can see right there so that is with a uh, 5 volts to make it a little easier to see you could use 6 so I use 5 because there's a lot of fixed uh, voltage sources for 5 and you can also see the current flow as the LEDs change the uh, current actually goes down with the blue LED because it has a lot more resistance right there and uh, so blue LEDs get brighter than red LEDs even if their current is lower you have to get the current a lot lower before it's uh, less bright than a red LED but in any case we got to a six that makes it a little easier to see the one-third and two-thirds supply voltage so there we go up uh, six squares at the output now you can see it's going up to about uh, that's the output sorry that's going to be about a volt and a half less right there it's the uh, two-third and one-third voltages that really look nice when uh, you got six volts here because it's going down to two volts and then up to four volts right to the lines right there but in any case that's really it for this video hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can that will help out a ton I will see you in the next video